But I'm not going to make this about Trump. This shit is about Kamala Harris, right? I don't give a fuck about Kamala Harris. Good, bad, or indifferent. I don't fuck with the Democrats. They ruined the country. Trump tried to build a wall. They fucking let people come running in the country. Now, if you don't see the difference, I do. I live in Georgia, which we're supposed to be predominantly black, right? In Atlanta area, at least, right? I live in a, in a building that got 16 units. I've been living in the building for about six, seven years. When I moved in, it was a mix of black, white, little bit of Spanish, right? Most of the Spanish was over, and, and you'll find them over in like the Norcross area, right? Out of the 16 units today, I'm the only black person. Nobody in the 16 units speak English. And if they do, it's very little English. Hi, hi, hello, hi, hi. That's it. Motherfuckers looking at me like, what are you doing here? Nigga, I've been here longer than all y'all. Now, I'm the fucking outsider. So don't tell me shit about no motherfucking Trump when, and, and, and Kamala when she was the one supposed to be holding down the fucking the, the, uh, the borders. That was her job. Now, 16 units in just my building. There's three buildings around me. All of them are all Spanish. I'm the only fucking black person in three fucking buildings that got 16 units each. I'm sitting there watching these motherfuckers. They, one, more, they, one dude turned the, the, the parking lot into a garage. And the showroom. He's selling cars and fixing cars every day. All you all over the fucking parking lot. These niggas are selling cars. Every car got fucking 30 day tax. I know they doing some illegal shit. I just ain't calling the police. That ain't my motherfucking job. But they are, I don't know if they stealing to cars or tagging them. With, but every car come through this motherfucker got 30 day tags on them. I see them going, switching the tags off, putting other tags on and shit. And these motherfuckers, not only that, they go shopping at the garbage. I swear to God on everything. They go shopping at the fucking garbage. You know how people throw shit in that near the the the, the guard near the dumpsters the be and they might take some stuff and put it on the side. I'm watching motherfuckers. I swear to God, y'all. I swear to God, I see motherfuckers take a mattress and box string from the fucking garbage and take that shit and put it right in their fucking apartment. I'm talking to the people at the rental office like. What kind of motherfuckers are y'all letting move in here? Niggas is going shopping at the garbage, and the nigga take a whole mattress and box me and put it in their apartment from the garbage? Nobody around me speak fucking English. All this traffic came out of nowhere. I mean, I'm north. They, 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 they done took the, the traffic from the city and brought that shit all the way up to the suburbs. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And I'm telling you, y'all,
I swear to God, y'all, out of 48 units, I'm the only black person. Out of 48 units, it's one out of 48 is a black man. Everybody else is... I've seen the parking lot go from cars to damn near a, almost fucking 40% of the, of the vehicles in the parking lot now are fucking vans with fucking ladders and, and all types of equipment and type of shit on it. I swear to God, yo. The whole fucking neighbor, I swear to God, I take Spanish lessons now because I can't have no motherfuckers around me and I don't know what the fuck they say. They could be like, yo, we can kill a nigga. I wouldn't know. So for all y'all that's sitting out here acting like you don't see a change. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You, your fucking eyes ain't working. Now, no, it don't mean I stay in the hood. It mean they turn the shit to the hood. You, you got to understand. I don't know if y'all understand that when Biden let these people come into the country, they are giving them housing, fucking uh, finances, the shit that they don't get to the, the homeless people. It ain't nobody living in the hood. These motherfuckers is, it's like Times Square in New York. The Roosevelt Hotel wasn't no fucking hood hotel. It wasn't no Motel 6. But they dropped them all out there at the, the Roosevelt and let them all go stay in it. So what you think happened to the value of the city or the hotel? It's the same shit with apartments, houses, uh, areas. If you drop them off in a certain area, it's going to change the whole fucking area. I went to New York. I stayed in Times Square. That shit wasn't the same Times Square that I'm used to, that I grew up in. 